If I were one of Jesus' disciples, and I'm just being completely honest with you, and Jesus were to ask me to step off of this boat, and I want you to walk across that water. Now, I just, you got to think about this. When you're on a boat, there's a certain safetyness that you feel there. There's a certain safety factor. And if the boat isn't sinking, if the boat isn't tipping over, if the boat isn't rocking, you feel like you're going to kind of be okay. But the moment that you stand on one end of the boat and you put that foot off the boat and then you're about to let the other foot go from the boat, all of a sudden, your sensitivity of security evaporates like the morning dew. I would not have done it. I, I, I can't fathom having enough confidence in anybody. Like if God himself said, step off of that. I mean, I might end up doing it if I feared the consequences of not doing it, but I don't think that it would be a rational thought with for me. In order to do things inside of a religious context, very often you have to get away from rational thought. I think that they say Jesus fed the multitudes and he just had a couple of fish. And he, if, if you were to tell me that I'm going to feed thousands of people uh, with these two or three fish, I'd look and, and the, 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 the party is tonight, you know, unless you're going to mate those fish and let them multiply and then mate those fish and let them multiply, then I, I'm not able to uh, fathom how that's going to end up working out tonight. I, you know, you're going to, um, unless I'm going to give you a year or you're going to give me a year. And speaking of that, would not fish in a school, wouldn't it just be um, completely people from their own family, incest? Wouldn't that just be a completely incestual relationship? I know this has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but I never thought about that before right now. Am I, has anybody else thought about that? If, you're, if you have a school of fish that are swimming around in the ocean, and those fish mate however it is that they do whether or not there's actual coitus or whether or not you have the fish that drop the eggs and then the male fish come and spray the sperm and then it it, it comes together in that way wouldn't you be dealing with brothers and sisters of one another being that you have the whole school and their family I mean wouldn't it be uh, wouldn't it be family and if you're eating the flesh of an incestual fish aren't you eating a defective product I mean it's just really something to think about you've heard fish farm uh, good afternoon can you tell me whether or not you guys ship fish or whether or not they would have to be picked up locally uh, where to do you ship to Indiana ma'am Indiana yeah. I think we do or, or Chicago um let me see because I, I, I don't do that. Um. Well, I'm pretty sure you do. I had another question, actually, because if the other question doesn't get answered properly, I guess this part doesn't matter. My main question is we're actually looking for tropical fish to uh, fill up a large aquarium that we're going to be having in a couple of locations. Mm -hmm. But I don't know anything about fish and how the, far how the farming of them takes place. Can you tell me whether or not the schools of fish mate in a way where there's incest happening or is there any way to prevent that because my brain tells me that the fishes would be defective if we're dealing with brothers and sisters uh, in no, that regard not at all. no what which not one at all. no no they they don't I, they interbreed and they do not come out you know okay so there is incest happening in the in the mm -hmm. in the in, in the uh, fish kingdom but you're saying that the fish that produce from that they're not bumping into the walls or nope. swimming upside down or doing anything nope, goofy not at all so it has no effect okay no. all right well that's my main question i'll give you guys a call back when i'm ready to place my order then okay all right thank uh, you, you all can right. talk to will okay will? And, and um yeah okay he's the one in charge of sending you know like fish and stuff like that and that's not will i am right that's a different person no, okay. no it's right. not will i am okay just <laughs> making sure thank you ma'am okay. i really appreciate that all right bye. all right bye bye Okay, I, I'm glad that I got this. See, now I can relax and I can go on to what it was that I was saying. Apparently, incest does happen in the fish world. And the fish, they don't swim upside down. They don't bump into each other. So any of you guys who are worried about that, don't worry about it. See, Sir Daryl figured it all out. Once again, you don't get this information on the Radio Dan Show. You can only get it at the Sir Daryl Radio Experience.